Hello everybody, today we're going to be checking out the plugin Ultra Customizer by Texcode. Um, this is a plugin that came out quite a while ago in uh, 2019. It came out earlier this year. No, that's good. Okay, never mind. It was first released in 2017. I was like, oh, what, what, what am I looking at? So today we are going to be checking out how to edit any messages in your chat, construct your own GUI, make your own scripts, and make your own commands. What you have to do is down buy this plugin on Spigot, download it, then drop it into your plugins folder and restart your server that simple to start um only if i had my auto restart enabled here um now this is my first time messing around with this in quite a while so i may be a little rusty on what it can do and stuff but um let's take a quick look at what it's going to configure for us here so it's going to go ahead and create a um ultra customizer thing in our uh, plugins folder like normally you got your language um, you can change your language I believe yes all your language can be changed in here you can even make your own language files and stuff it has base English base gaze don't edit that I believe the system that that is just uh, prefix and language so pretty easy to do everything else is done in game so why don't we join the game and check out what we can do so we are in the game here uh, let me make this full screen so once we are in the game um, you can see yeah if I run slash PL, you can see Ultra Customizer is enabled and working fine. So, you can enable MySQL for this, um, but in this case, it's not enabled. I'm not going to enable it either. Uh, let's take a quick look. I'm going to pull up the FAQ cause so you can see what um, you can do. Your permission is Ultra Customizer admin, and that gives you the, the only command in the in the plugin is slash customizer and it will go ahead and open up so you have a few settings here you got scripts currently none commands currently none GUIs currently none edited messages currently none you need to use pro you need to have protocol lib installed to edit any message in your plugin you can create a folder local or MySQL you, if you want MySQL that's how you link between different servers and you can go ahead and click that to set up why don't we check out local settings export or delete so this is for this menu when you create your stuff if you want it on every server I recommend MySQL but if you can't do that just export your settings so it's pretty easy to do that and you can create a folder um, and left click to cancel so why don't we take a look at scripts currently we have no scripts um, you can search blah so you can create a script what this does is it runs whenever something happens so player death this will be executed when the player dies food level change this will be executed when the food level changes Player chat message will be executed on a new chat message. Block place will be executed when player places a block. Player join, player click, block break, repeating. So, why don't we just test one of these? Why don't we do a uh, block break event? So, if we open that up again and look how you use it. Block break. So, bloke, it will be executed when a um, player breaks a block. So, if we do an event and then cancelable event so why don't we do block uh, type name block break cancel we'll call it there we go block break cancelled so will be executed when a player breaks rock left click to show so it says block break will be executed when a player breaks block left click to scroll left click to next action add an element so why don't we do add an element what is this gonna do well we could um, run a command as a player and ignore the perm uh, not you could set the velocity get the players UUID auto my player auto bar message compare materials player message console command if else statement online player selector open GUI broadcast give player player has materials has permission so it has everything you would normally code but in in a plugin so why don't we just do this why don't we just send a message to the player create a value uh, we're gonna say you broke a block so send a message you broke a block and you can scroll through these and everything so let's see if we what we did work yes it did so anytime we break a block it's gonna send that in chat so it's pretty much coding but inside a GUI without coding it's pretty cool now if we go ahead and open up our customizer again let's see what else you can do you can click to show some commands so you can create a custom command so why don't we do like help command all right so local help command let's show, show it so the command is slash help command so why don't we give it something why don't we make it send a message or let's say it will 
player message. So let's create a message. Let's use color codes this time and say, help is currently broken. So whenever we type slash help command, help is currently broken. So you can add custom commands to your server without having to create a plugin, which is pretty awesome. Why don't we check out the final thing this thing does without protocol lib is GUIs. Um, edited messages does require protocol lib, um, so you have to install that as well. GUIs, we can create a GUI. So why don't we create a name? So let's create a name. We're going to call it test GUI. Title two of two. So we'll just name it. I like GUIs. So I like GUIs. So the actual thing is test GUIs. So you can change the title. Current ones, I like GUIs. Add a row or remove rows. So why don't we add rows? I see this is a little glitching out there. So uh, now that we are in here, we can edit something. So we click anywhere, like this one. So press Q to delete. We'll delete it. But if we click up here in the top, we can rename, change material, edit the lore, change amount, back, script, have it do something, add a permission or unnamed item. So why don't we rename it? We'll name it click me. Why don't we change the material? Let's make it an apple. Edit lore. Click me to do something. And change the amount so we can increase the amount it shows. Or right click to decrease. Why don't we add a permission? We're not going to do that, otherwise I wouldn't be able to run the plugin. And why don't we add a script? So, GUI button click called test me. Let's add something. What will it do? It will close our inventory. Now, if I go ahead and open that up again, hold on. If we go ahead and add a command, let's say open GUI, and under this slash open GUI we do something, and we find open a GUI, which I need to find here. I saw it. Where did it go? Open GUI. We click our test GUI, and we close. Now if we type slash open GUI, it's going to open our test GUI, and if I click it, it will close. So we just created our first ever um, our first ever uh, GUI by n attached it to a custom command. So this plugin is very useful if you want to customize everything on your server. If you want to create your own plugins without actually coding, I recommend Ultra Customizer. It's available on Spigot now. You can download it. At, uh, I'll leave a link to it in the top of the description. This is not made by, made by us, so support is not done by us. If you want to check out our plugins, those are available in the description as well. If you need support for any of our plugins or any of our tutorial videos, let us know. It's down in the description or in, leave it in the comments or join on Discord and let us know. We do not um, own or create Ultra uh, Customizer, so we cannot give it out. We cannot do anything with it. Go contact the author if you need any support with it. Um, have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.